Boys, this episode, what you're going to see is how to CC a cylinder head. So you'll be able to measure the volume of the fucking combustion chamber and work out your compression from it. Now, a um, reasonably simple thing to do, but see what happens is if you don't know how to do it, you're pretty much fucked. So you go down to a machine shop and I charge like $75 to do one of the chambers. This way I'll show you how to do it. I'll set a few things up. You do it for about fucking 10 bucks and you can do it as many fucking times as you want. You know what I mean? So this is it. I've got a head there. I'm just getting a few other things together. we we'll put them all up on the bench. And uh, I'll take you through how I do it, how I do all the engines. So here we are, right? I've set it all up. We've got a cylinder head here that we're going to use to CC for the video, right? Now we've got just a rag to wipe some shit down. A little bit of uh, petroleum jelly, Vaseline, whatever the fuck you want to use. You can even use grease to make it seal on the fucking plate here. Now what I wanted to say was this I've had for fucking years. I don't know, it was probably fucking a couple bucks worth. This is probably no more than five bucks. That's just, uh, that's just perspex, if you know what I mean. So you just go there and tell them to cut your fucking whatever, four inch by four inch, just something that's got to fit over the chamber and um, and you're laughing there and that's it. So that's, that's fuck all, that's easy. You get an old spark plug as well, you'll need one of them just to put in the fucking hole so, so it doesn't leak out. Then I just got some coolant, that's just cheap ass coolant, you know what I mean? And I'm going to put it into this fucking jar here and then that will be what I'll suck it up with with the syringe. Now with the syringe, you just go to the fucking vet, your local vet, and just say, uh, I want one of these syringes, 50, 60 mil, and get one with the fucking, a neat little end on it like that. And now uh, you can suck it up, push it out and all that. And that, that, this is all I use. You know what I mean? And all the fucking heads and everything I do, this is it. Now, like I said, you go to the machine shop, they'll charge you fucking 75 bucks to do one. And you go, oh, fuck. And then you'll think, how much if I, or what's the other one? Or what's going on? You know what I mean? You go, fuck, what, another 75? This way, you can do whatever the fuck you want to do to whatever head. You got a 245 head, you can measure it. 265, measure it. 215, same as a 245. Who gives a fuck? Measure it. You know what I mean? It's all there. This is it. This is how I do it. And if you're at home too, this is the other thing. You might have different valves. See these just kind of sunk a little bit. And you might want to go, oh, I wonder what would happen if I had flat valves or whatever and, and change them and put them in and muck around and, and, and get your CCs right. You can sort of, you can start figuring all your shit out without fucking spending all this fucking money. So 10 bucks, do whatever the fuck you want. Here we go, I'll show you how I'll do it. First things first, what we do is we pick whichever one we want. So I'm just going to go for this, this chamber here. You know what I mean? So you get your spark plug and you, and you fucking screw it in. So I'll screw it in now. And you just go all the way up. And you'll see it poke out the other side. Oh, fuck yeah, here she comes. So uh, basically that's just fucking, that's finger tight. And that's all we need. Next step, right, I'm just going to get my rag and just go around it and just wipe any sort of shit off anything that might be sort of fucking in the way. And you want to make it uh, all sort of clean. Now, you at home, you might not have a fucking head that's been sort of freshly fucking machined. So you might have to get the wire wheel out or whatever and just sort of clean it all up so it's nice and smooth. You know what I mean? So once we've done that, we move on to the next step. Now we grab our fucking petroleum jelly, Vaseline, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Here it is. This is, like I said, this is lasting me fucking ages, this shit. I'm just mixing it up to sort of soften it that little bit. You know what I mean? So I'll just get some. What I sort of do is just go, I'll just dab it like that all the way around. So I'll go all the way around and I'll get back here in a second. All right, so here we are. I'll just even leave the top little bit fucking open. It doesn't really matter. You know what I mean? But whatever for the video, I'll go all the way. Fuck it. So now, right, I'll just wipe it off my fucking finger. Sit that aside for a second. Now what I do is just go like this, is I just push my finger up hard into that corner and go like that. And you see what I mean? So now what happens is it leaves that little rib all the way around like that. And we know that when we put the plate on, it's going to hit that and fucking seal. So yeah, I'll just go all the way around this like this. Takes it out of the chamber and sort of ends up kind of building that little fucking lip up around the outside. So that. Now we know we're on a clean fucking hit. All right, next step. Now we get our fucking piece of perspex. Just wipe it down, make sure it's all fucking pretty neat like that. So now what I'll do, right, instead of putting, you don't put it all over. See, I don't drill the little hole in it and all that shit. I'll just go like that. So what I mean? Push down and you'll see where it's touching. And if you've got to touch it all the way around like that, you're right. So I'll leave a little hole at the top there. See that? Just like that. Oh, fuck yeah. Next step. We've got our fucking coolant here, boys. Just uh, pour a bit into there. Oh yeah, just fucking 20 cents worth. Now we grab our fucking syringe. We have got from the fucking vet there. What I want to say right, before we go ahead and use this, if you want to keep this for a, a fair bit longer without the numbers rubbing off, I'll just get some clear fucking sticky tape and put it over it. And that will just seal all the numbers from getting wet and rubbing off. You know what I mean? So also what you want to do is just make sure it goes in and out pretty neat. Yeah, you know I mean, because once you use them a couple times, they'll get a bit stiff. Then you can, if you want, you can just go like that. Just, just dip the fucking end in and put it back in. And, and it might, you know, it can just free it up a little bit like that. So here we go. We're fucking set. We're all set. We go in. We fucking suck her up. So I'll suck it 
We'll go to 50, but I'll suck it a bit past 50. All right, then you just hold it up like that. Hold it up to the light. Give her a little fucking how are you? Now that just come out the top and we're sitting on about fucking 50 dead nuts. Like I say, I got me 50, so we'll fucking dump her in there and we'll see how we go. All right, let's fucking do it. I'm just holding the plate on that little bit, you know what I mean? You don't want to go too fucking quick because it'll spray everywhere. Just sort of go in, just neat. Boom, there's our 50. And then what I'll do is I'll grab another 50. I'll go past it again, just that little bit, just to make sure. Couple of there's That's pretty much bang on 50 there. So now we know we've got 100, you know what I mean? So now, put this 50 in. And I'll come up with the plate, as you've seen just then. And just give a couple little drops towards the end. And slide her up. Just like that. So now we've had a hundred in it all up after the two goes. And now we've got a uh, 30, one, two, three and a half, 33 and a half. So um, basically all it works out, if you want to do it on, on paper, is go a hundred, take away 33.5. You know what I mean? And then the difference of that is, uh, is the fucking CCs in there. So what I'll do now, I'll just dump this out. You know, interest like that. What happens now too is I'll just quickly show you. If your valves are leaking here or something's basically if your valves are leaking here now, you'll see little air bubbles coming out. You know what I mean? Or you'll you'll be talking and you look back and you'll see a fucking a bubble here and you go, oh, what the fuck? Look down in your port and you'll see it running out, if you know what I mean. And that will mean that um basically your fucking your valves are leaking. Anyway, this is alright, but yeah, so this is what we landed up on. 100 cc's that we pulled into the fucking syringe. We were left with 33.5. This equals 66.5 cc. So that's her, boys. 66.5 fucking cc's. That's what that chamber is. I'll also go ahead and say that um, this head is a, a 245 head with 245 valves, but it's been shaved about 80 thou. You know what I mean? The old fucking thumbprint, which is normally here. I'll just have a bit of a look. Yeah, it's normally sort of like that. You know what I mean? You'll see it on the heads. It'll be like an indent. Basically, any head you get, this is what I do. I just knock the motherfucker clean until that's gone. You know what I mean? So there's no thumbprint no more, just like that. And you'd be right there. At least you get your fucking comp up a little bit. I know a lot of people say, um, oh, it's only go 20, I go 30. Oh, I don't know about too much. I'll just knock 80 off it. I've knocked 100. I've knocked fucking 120 off them. You know what I mean? Whatever. It doesn't really... You don't want to go up too fucking much further than 120, really. But the thing is, you can knock that shit off and everything's fine. 80 for fucking sure all day, every day. Because I do no less than fucking 80. You know what I mean? So I know that one fucking... So yeah, that, that's her. I just wrote on it there, 66.5 cc. So we know for later, you do the same. Whatever you want to do, that head's what that is. What I was going to say now is... If you want to pull this out of there without making too much of a mess, sometimes you can come down like this, have it bottomed out, and then just start fucking sucking as you go. You know what I mean? Just like that. Put it back in your little tub. Nah, never done it before, you know. That last little bit's always a bit hard to get close. <laughs> All right, no worries, then we just pull that off. And if you just want to go ahead and do other fucking chambers, just do the exact same thing you've seen. You know what I mean? Just like that. Follow all them steps again. It's real handy if you've got a couple heads around, like a 265, a fucking 245. And it also, this is what you'll, you'll get out of it too. You'll notice the other heads you got, if the valves are sunk, and it'll, and it'll increase the CCs, you know what I mean? If the valves are sitting up nice and high, nice and neat, sort of like this one, bang, the CCs will be smaller and all this sort of shit. And you'll kind of just, you'll start measuring heaps of different heads because it would just be all information for yourself, eh? Do you know what I mean? So that's what it's all about, fucking, too fucking easy there. Yeah, back in the day, I used to be a fucking sick cut and I'd go through every fucking chamber, make them all fucking 100%, I'd swap valves out, whichever one was sitting where, and just go over for hours to get everything fucking spot on. Yeah, then I'd groove out all here, you know what I mean, to make the pistons sit in and fucking all this shit. But, um, yeah, you'd be pretty fucking, you'd be pretty right. If you're doing it, you know, for the first time, you're sort of a bit unsure, you can do this one, this one, and the middle one, one of the middle ones, and you'd be sort of fucking, you'd be in the ballpark, and you'll see which fucking CCs are what. You know what I mean? There'll be a little bit of fucking discrepancy through them, but also, if you measure your deck height on your piston, not every piston comes up to zero. You know what I mean? It'll be like one up, down, they will fucking, there'll be a little bit of variance through it, just like the chambers, so... When you do one like that, don't feel too fucking like you skipped yourself out too hard because on this one, the piston might be up a bit, that one might be down a bit, and it will sort of change, but you've got a very good ballpark figure. Actually, what I'll do now is I'll take you inside and I'll show you the little, um, there's like a little thing you can go on, 
and it'll, and you get your compression ratio on it. And we'll fuck it. We'll go in and we'll do it to 66.5. Um, we'll pretend we put this head on a fucking 265 or something. I was just gonna say this too. Why I use coolant in the head is because um, that way it just doesn't fucking try to rust or nothing. You know what I mean? If you really want to blow it down, you can use whatever the fuck you want <clears throat> to put in there. I just use coolant because it's fucking easy. You can see it real mint and green, and nothing's gonna rust there, and it's all good. Yeah, I just want to point that one out. Let's go fucking do this uh, compression ratio calculator and uh, see where the bitch ends up. Let's fucking do it. Yeah, I just got on fucking old Google here. Just put in compression ratio calculator. Let's go to the first one here. Bang, I'll click on it. Now we'll come across here. So just leave the top one at one. You know what I mean? Now we'll come down to bore size. We'll just say a 40 thou up 265. So that'll be uh, 3.95. What are we looking at here? The old stroke 3.68 head gasket bore. Uh, I'll just say fucking four inch and 40. Uh, head gasket thickness. We'll do it with a fucking, with a 40 thou. You know what I mean? So we'll just go. So, uh, 40 thou there. Yep, all right, CC. So we go 66.5. Um, we'll just go fucking zero on that one. You know what I mean? That's that's nothing there. And we'll just zero deck the old bitch. So we'll go zero there on the last one. So now we go calculate. Bang. What are we sitting on? 10.8. So um, now if you look back up here. Now I'll just sort of get the thing here and we'll just say, um, we'll pretend we had it with a fucking 30 thou gasket. So that head on a 40 thou up 265. Then we'll go 30 thou gasket. We'll go calculate again, and we'll come down here, 11.1. You know what I mean? So you can mix and match, and you find out um, what your CCs are, and you come up here and manipulate different shit. So uh, we'll go back to 40 thou here. Basically, all right, I'll just quickly tell you, if you've got standard aftermarket pistons in it, and they've got the chamfer around the edge, I normally just calculate that as, um, basically, to me, that's that's about two CCs there. You know what I mean? That chamfer. So then what I'll go ahead and do is go up to here, and go, bang, 68. So I'll add two cc's, so 68, so I'll add two cc's, we're back to 40 thou gasket, bang, calculate, 10.6 to 1. You know what I mean? So you can just go up and down, this and that, actually fuck it, we'll put it in with the stroker crank, eh? What do you reckon about that? So we'll go 3.85, alright, here we go, 265, 40 thou up, 3.85 stroke, the old stroker crank, 4 inch and 40 gasket, 40 thou thick, we'll put flat top fucking forges in, here we go, we'll go back to 66.5, bang, 0, and 0 deck height, now we'll see what that comes to. 11.3, you know what I mean? So you can just fuck around like that. I, I don't mind playing shit like that, you know what I mean? And working out a little combo and so I have this, that, the other, or whatever. But um, yeah, that was just giving you a bit of a bit of a look at what's going on. And yeah, get on these calculators and have a little fucking play. You know what I mean? It's fucking, um, it's good shit. Oh, fuck yeah. So there we have it, fucking all done. So I'm just gonna slide this old bitch back into the corner again. Pull the old rocket back in, all that shit. Oh, fuck yeah, Mopar and Oka.